If you're in school, you need to watch this video because I'm about to spill literally all of the tea that I have used to be that student in school and how I have been that student for the past 13 years. I'm going to show you exactly how you can study smarter and not harder and why studying really isn't even the most important thing that you need to be doing because I know that some of you are out there studying for 10 plus hours thinking that that is what's going to get you those straight A's, academic validation. But what if I told you that it's really a lot simpler than you may think? I'm telling you that this video is going to change your life, so buckle up. Okay, I need you to think about the first thing that you do whenever you sit down to start a little study session Because if it's not making a to-do list, then you're doing it wrong If you don't have a game plan, you've already lost half of the battle Time block if necessary I really do not want you guys out there studying for three plus hours on some topic So for instance, when you're writing this little to-do list, you're gonna say I will do X task for X amount of minutes Do not spend too long on an assignment because guess what? You're gonna get burnt out, you're gonna get bored, and you're not gonna be having it Knock out the easy stuff first Pick the low-hanging fruit, it's right there But yeah, if you're feeling your brain getting a little bit sluggish, it is more than okay to switch gears and work on another task always have water with you and you can have an optional study snack because this may motivate you more to get your stuff done if you can have something really yummy on the side so i always love baking things for study sessions it's also just a really cute and nice activity that you can do whenever you're taking one of your longer breaks but yeah i really recommend things with high protein so hard boiled eggs nuts seeds yogurt cheese you could also have smoothies trail mix popcorn or really any kind of fruits and vegetables these snacks are going to help make sure that your blood sugar does not crash whenever you're in the middle of a study session work with your body right I would highly recommend to use a sleep and energy tracker. So I use this app. It's called Rise. It gives me notifications whenever my most productive hours of the day are. So I tend to schedule my work time more around these times whenever this app tells me that I'm going to be more productive. And then whenever I'm having that afternoon dip or afternoon slump, I tend to do more of my resting. When you start working in alignment with yourself and not against yourself, your body and your mind is going to thank you. And you're going to finish your work a lot faster. Again, this is all about working smarter and not harder. It's actually really easy to knock out these things you need to do. for handwritten notes, I love to follow this structure. You first do a large heading. I really love using brush markers and pens. And the next thing you're gonna wanna do is introduce the topic with a simple summary. Like this could be a one or two sentence summary, just something that kind of overviews or provides context into whatever topic you're writing about. Highlight your subtopic so that you know exactly where a new point is introduced. And then as for explaining your subtopics, I really love to use bullet points and arrows. You can do stars, you can do hearts. You can really do whatever symbol you want, just anything that kind of notes a shift. If you are in a science class, I would highly recommend drawing little pictures to help your brain make connections between certain things. My favorite study method is called mind mapping. Take a blank piece of paper and you are going to do a huge brain dump, literally word vomit on your page, stemming from whatever your topic is, put it in the center of your page and then connect all your things that you know about the topic. You really are going to want to see how everything is related to one another so that it's not just random information that feels like it has no use just floating all around in your brain because that's not helpful. If you want to know more about study methods, I talk more about this in my Pinterest school girl video, but essentially that student is not dirty. She is always organized. So whenever I get a new assignment posted in Google Classroom, Canvas, I always put it in a master calendar because I'm paranoid about forgetting something and I make sure that I know exactly when the due date is. But as for materials and what's in my backpack, if we have to take our own notes in this class, I always have a designated notebook for every single one of my classes. But then for instance, in my AP psych class, we get our notes handed out to us. So I like to keep a binder for those things. I always bring pens and a million pencils because I've learned this way too many times, you're gonna lose your pencils. Like, I don't know where they go. I really don't know where all the pencils go, but you're gonna lose so many pencils during the school year. So make sure that you have at least five. And I also always try to clean out my bag at the end of each week. But yeah, if you wanna get straight A's, I need you to stop putting these grades and academic validation on such a high pedestal. You are idolizing it. It also goes into the saying like, I don't chase, I attract. I have always had the mindset that getting A's and getting good grades, passing my classes is easy. And guess what? Pretty much every single semester I come home with a report card with all A's. And I understand that some of you may have parents that really put so much pressure on you to get good grades because they feel like you need to be a certain thing. You don't have to work till burnout, till failure, till you literally cannot do it anymore just to get these certain things. Like, yes, I put my best and my effort into everything, but your best also kind of has a limit. I never see studying as something that I have to do. I don't have to study. This is how I try, okay? I pay attention in school. I do all my homework. I might review some things right before tests, but I never 
never study study. If you want to get that classic Pinterest schoolgirl style, what I would recommend is investing in pieces like sweaters, sweater vests, skirts, knee-high socks, basically anything with plaid, simple baby tees, maybe some tank tops, and I would accessorize your hair with bows or headbands. All right, listen, I'm going to tell you a little story about a friend that I used to have. So this girl, she would crave academic validation because she thought that that was the only thing that would make her stand out, that would make her valuable, which is completely false, by the way. This girl would pull all-nighters practically every single night. She talked to me about how she got like 40 minutes of sleep. And yeah, she got decent grades. But what I noticed with this girl is that as time went on, obviously pulling all-nighters every single night and overworking yourself to the point of that extreme burnout is so unsustainable that she then became that person who she would probably go to school maybe two times a week, not even stay at school the whole time. She'd just come home. I mean, she'd have missing assignments that were months late. She'd just never show up to school or never do anything. And I'm like, mm. And I thought it was a very interesting contrast between this new version of her and the old version that was this workaholic. So I think I figured out exactly why this is. Something that I always prioritize is myself, my happiness, and my health. That is what my life is about. My life is not consumed by school because if you're prioritizing school and that's not a fulfilling life, okay? You're constantly chasing after something. You're not being content by what you have. You don't feel validated within yourself because for me, I can validate myself just fine. I don't need any of these things to validate me. I literally just live my life how I want to and I'm happy because of that. And then that means the time that I do spend working towards school, I have an open mind. I have a clear mind. I know exactly what I'm working towards. It's not boring. Honestly, I find immense joy in learning and I always try to be the smartest and best version of myself. I don't think that studying is a chore. I don't hate going to school. It is just another part of my life. It is not my life and it should not be yours. Something that I think every student should do is prioritize going on solo dates because this can really help with self-discovery and also just building a connection with yourself and actually enjoying life outside of school. There are really so many things you could do like you could take yourself out to a little cafe, have a picnic out in the park, go to the bookstore, visit an art museum, go on a hike, have a little spa day at home, cook yourself a nice meal, and do some yoga. But really, you can take whatever hobby you love to do and just make sure that you set a dedicated time out of your week to doing things by yourself and for yourself and making the most out of your life.